Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture, we have understood classes and objects. We learned how to define classes and how to define objects. Apart from this, we learned how to define data members and how to declare member functions within a class. We just learned how to declare member functions. but we don't know how to define member functions of a specific class in this lecture we will understand how to define member functions that too in different ways of a specific class so without any further delay let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics the first topic is defining member functions outside the class definition first we will learn how to define member functions outside the class definition then we will learn how to define member functions inside the class definition so these are the topics we have for this lecture let's start with the first topic that is defining member functions outside the class definition so how we can define member functions outside the class definition we can define member functions outside the class with the help of scope resolution operator we already know one use case of scope resolution operator with the help of the scope resolution operator we can access global variables within a function and this is possible even if we define local variable with the same name as global variable the second use case of scope resolution operator is to define member functions outside the class definition we will now learn how to define member functions outside the class with the help of scope resolution operator for this purpose let's take the same example class we took in the last lecture that is the student class here is the student class with private members as roll number and marks and public members as put data and display please note that these functions are declared in this class they are not defined now we need to define these functions we can define these functions outside the class with the help of scope resolution operator let's define the put data function outside this class like this we first need to specify the return type of the function then we need to provide the name of the class which is student and then after this we can provide the scope resolution operator we know this is the scope resolution operator then after this we need to provide the name of the function and within parentheses we can provide the parameters so this is how we can define the put data function which is the member function of this class now here is the definition of this function within braces i have written the code for this function that is roll number equals a and marks equals b so i want to store the value of variable a within the roll number variable and i also want to store the value of variable b within marks variable so whatever the values we receive in these parameters will be provided to the private members that is roll number and marks now you might be thinking that these are private members therefore they must be accessible within the class only how we can access these members within this function which is defined outside this class we can access private members within the member functions that we define this is true that we can access private members within the class but member functions can access the private members even if we define them outside the class so we can think 
a member function as defined in the class and therefore the member function would be able to access the private members directly. That's why we can provide these private members directly within this function. I hope this idea is clear to you. Even though the member function is defined outside the class, it can still access the private members. Now, let's define the display function as well in the same way using the scope resolution operator like this. Here, I have defined the display function with the help of scope resolution operator. And within braces, I have provided these two STDC out statements to display roll number and marks on the screen. Now, here is the main function. Inside the main function, I have defined S1 as the object of student class. We learned how to define the object of a specific class in the last lecture. Now, with the help of this object, we can access the public members of this class because this object is defined inside the main function. Now, here I am calling the put data function through the S1 object and I am passing these values to the parameters of the put data function. Variable A will receive value 101 and variable B will receive value 75. 101 is then provided to the variable roll number, which is the private variable, and 75 is provided to the variable marks, which is also the private variable. So, we can say that S1 has provided values to these private variables indirectly. Now, after this, I am calling the display function through the S1 object. This means these STDC out statements will execute. And because of these STDC out statements, we will see the roll number and marks on the screen. But which roll number and marks will be displayed? That's the question. Here we are calling the display function with the help of the S1 object. Previously, through S1 object, we have provided these values indirectly to these variables. So clearly, these values are associated with these variables through the S1 object. Now, here we are calling the display function through the S1 object. So, the roll number and marks that are provided by the S1 object through the put data function are displayed on the screen. So, in place of this roll number, we will get 101, and in place of this marks variable, we will get 75. This is because we are calling the display function through the S1 object. And S1 object has provided these values to these variables. Therefore, when we execute this program, we will get the output as roll number 101 marks 75. I hope this program is absolutely clear to you. Through this program, we learned how to define member functions outside the class with the help of scope resolution operator. This means we have understood the concept. Now we are done with the first topic. Let's move to the second topic to understand how to define member functions inside the class definition. We have learned how to define member functions outside the class definition. Now let's learn how to define member functions inside the class. We can easily do this just like we define normal functions. Before defining member functions, I want to mention this, that functions defined inside the class are treated as inline functions. This means there is the possibility of optimization by the compiler to increase the performance. We already know what are inline functions. We have dedicated lecture for that. 
If you don't know about inline functions at this moment, then I would recommend you to watch the lecture on inline functions. Now we know exactly what are the member functions that are defined inside the class. They are treated as inline functions. Now, here is the example program to demonstrate how to define member functions, put data and display within the class student. Here, I have defined these two functions, put data and display, just like normal functions. These functions are treated as inline functions. The code is same. Now, we know that when we execute this program, we will get the output as roll number 101 and marks 75. Here, with the help of S1 object, we are calling put data and we are passing these values to these variables indirectly. And here, with the help of S1 object, we are calling the display function. The display function will display the roll number 101 and mark 75 on the screen. So the program works exactly the same. But here, the functions are defined inside the class. That's the difference. So now we know two different ways to define member functions of the class. We can define member functions with the help of scope resolution operator or we can directly define member functions inside the class. So with this, we have understood the second topic as well and this means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this lecture. I will see you in the next one.